you know, you, you mentioned that rain was coming pretty soon, so we got to enjoy this while we can. Yeah, we do. We've had some pretty nice weather all week, and tomorrow's looking pretty nice. You may have to dodge a few showers as we go uh, into the afternoon, but overall, uh, I think it'll be a mainly quiet into your weekend, and then things will be changing for the start of the week. You'll need the umbrella for an extended period of time. Live look outside, though, and you see some beautiful colors. This is our last sunset at 6 o'clock for quite a while because daylight saving time tonight at 2 a.m. is going to push our clocks forward an hour. And so that means sunsets will be after 7 p.m. In your headlines, dense fog concerns through Sunday morning. If you're going to be traveling tonight or in the morning, you could be running into some reduced visibility. So our nice weather days unfortunately are numbered as we'll see some rainfall returning. Some strong storms look possible as we get into Wednesday. So we'll time that out for you here right now. Of course, if you're heading out this evening, Things are nice and quiet. Just a few passing clouds with some severe storms across the Texas Panhandle. Numerous severe thunderstorm warnings and tornado warnings from this line associated with a cold front that will continue to push east. The severe weather is going to stay to our north, but it may help to bring a few isolated showers tomorrow. You see the severe weather outlook mainly to our north, north Louisiana and to Arkansas, but the chance for an isolated thunderstorm at least. Maybe a few rumbles of thunder if we do get a thunderstorm that's able to develop. And then looking into the week by Wednesday, already high highlighting an area for the potential for severe weather. That's the area here in yellow, so we'll really have to pay attention to that forecast in the week ahead. Timing it out for you this evening, looking good, just some passing clouds and the potential for some dense fog in the morning. Temperatures in the 60s as we progress through the day, mainly quiet. You see temperatures back into the low 80s for some spots, and then you start to see a few isolated showers trying to form. So a little bit of light rain uh, may accompany your outdoor plans tomorrow afternoon, but nothing too much of a hindrance. As we get into Monday, kind of the same story here. Some patchy fog in the morning and then some showers will be possible as we get into the afternoon. Here's our long range model and it's showing that rainfall spreading out across much of the southeast, not only for Monday afternoon, but going into Tuesday. So we could see some locally heavy rain at times, but it's really Wednesday, the day I'm going to be concerned with that we'll need to watch as we'll see that more widespread rain and some thunderstorms moving in from our next cold front. And so little areas of thunderstorms going to be possible through Wednesday night before all of this moves out by Thursday and we'll see some quieter and cooler conditions. So don't put away the jacket just yet. We'll have some chilly temperatures returning by the end of the week, but we'll have some daily rain chances through Tuesday and then much more elevated with that front that's going to arrive on Wednesday. Right now 73 degrees winds out of the southeast at nine miles per hour. I mentioned the sunset tonight. It was at 608 PM, but tomorrow it's going to be setting at 708 p.m. with our sunrise in the morning at 711 and that's because daylight saving time begins at 2 a.m. By the way, spring begins on March 20th. It's already really been feeling like it. Temperatures right now in the 60s and 70s. If you've been suffering from your allergies, tree pollen in the high category once again, oak, willow, maple, juniper, weeds, grass in that moderate category and mold spores low. So lots to be dealing with if you're going to be out and about for the rest of the weekend. Here's a look at that fog potential and again across southeast Louisiana as well as the Mississippi coast. You could see visibility below a mile through the night and into the morning. This is eight o'clock before conditions start to improve as we go into the afternoon. So putting it all together for you on your seven day forecast St. Patrick's Day looking like the day we'll see those thunderstorms. That's that impact day. Some showers before that and then look behind the front. Some cooler temperatures, some 40s in the morning on Friday. So jacket weather not done just yet.